Yeah, no, I think it's time for us to go to sleep here. Eh? Mm. Baby, take a pencil quickly. I just want to see something. Are those new panties? Did you go buy new panties? Let me see. No, like take your pants off, take the panties off, put them in my hand. I want to see. I'm serious. Put your panties in my hand. I want to see. Take them off and put them in my hand so I can see your new panties. Listen, I've said this three times. As I come there and take your panties off myself, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Gorgeous and welcome to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is how I do things. So show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I do things and I can take it as advice or use it as entertainment. Use it and don't use it. Take it, don't take it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. No pressure for you to take it or use it or do anything with it at all. But you know why? Do you know why? Because me, I'm not a professional. I am not a professional at all. So this does not count as professional advice in any way, shape or form. I'm just letting you know what I would do fast in your shoes. I'm reporting to you live in Hubby's favorite PJs. I did inspired this video today because it's just like, honey, honey, my baby, my love, my wife, my wifey. You are not wearing any ugly panties at all in your life. Only sexy PJs from here afterwards. And I agree with the man. I agree with the man. So this little sexy two piece is from Bras and Things. I'll leave the link in the description below. But in today's video, we're going to talk about marriage, honey. And to all the married ladies, complacency. Complacency happens in relationships. It happens in marriages. And I don't blame you. It happens because we're comfortable. It happens because, you know, this person sees us in the most realist forms that no one else gets to see us like this. Only husband gets to see us like this. However, complacency is a slow killer of our relationships. It's a slow wind down to the lack of desire, to problems and resentment popping up in our marriages. So it's something that we should be avoiding by all costs. It's like complacency is a no-no. But how do you avoid being complacent when you get so comfortable with a person that you are with for a very long time? Today, I'm going to tell you about five ways that you can avoid being complacent in your marriage and in your long-term relationship so that you can keep it all fresh and you can avoid the low, slow spiral down in your relationship number one what is complacency you know when i think about complacency i'm just like how is this a bad thing like why is it terrible complacency in a relationship just means that you believe that your relationship is so strong and so secure that you feel as though you don't even have to try hard anymore you've you secured the man your relationship is secure and you guys are strong so you don't have to work that hard anymore to keep things together right it also means that in your heart you know that our relationship is healthy it is functional so it's okay to just move with it set the relationship on cruise control just continue to cruise on with the relationship everything is fine we are secure we are healthy we are okay so we can just continue moving in the same level that we've always been moving in it doesn't sound like a bad thing sis like why is it a bad thing for us to feel secure to feel healthy to feel as though our relationship is strong hmm see when you stop trying in anything it ends up being stagnant and stagnation is death really stagnation is as good as moving backwards in life and being stagnant often leads to death still waters rot and flowing waters stay clean and they stay healthy and that's how our relationship should always be we should be flowing we should be getting better as soon as we stand still that's when we start to mold that is when we start to get stale that is when we start to grow algae we start to stink and things just don't go as good as we'd like them to so number two, how do we avoid this? Kupano, give us the answers. How do we avoid getting complacent in our marriages? You need to ask yourself the important questions. What have you done for your man lately? Like literally, what have you done for him? How are you taking care of yourself? Would you date yourself right now? In the state that you are in, if you are single in the state that you are in now, 
would you chase yourself would you want to date yourself because sometimes when you get complacent we're just like ah i can just be home in my sweatpants chilling doing what i want to if my armpit hairs get a little long it's okay he's my husband he understands things happen in life one of the things that i struggle with and one of the things that I'm just like, it's a huge form of disrespect is that when we leave the house, we don't want people to see us with hairy armpits. We don't want people to see us with hairy legs. We don't want people to smell our stinky armpits. However, when we're in the house, it's okay if the man gets to smell that it's a bit sear down here, no? It's a bit sour, it's a bit yeah, under the pits. And yes, now and again, your armpit hairs grow, but it's natural. No. Why does the world get to see a better version of you than your man does? that is a no-no your man should have access to the best version of you that the rest of the world doesn't get to see are you being lazy lately the things that you used to put a lot of energy into you're not putting that much energy into these things because you guys are secure you guys are safe it's fine you're comfortable here so why should you still be working that hard and how have you improved your relationship have you been reading books about relationships, listening to podcasts? Have you tried to improve your sexual health and sexual life? Is your communication improving? Have you actually done something to specifically work on the relationship? These are the important questions that will help you to stay away from complacency in your marriage. Number three is something that I learned from my old man. Now, when I was getting married to my husband, I, he was just like, listen, you never fully know a person. You only continue to get to know them as you're getting married and the fact that you want to marry this person means you know him enough to want to marry him and that you want to continue to learn about him as you go you never fully know the person you're married to we're always growing we're always learning we are constantly becoming something in our lives right so that also means that you're constantly learning about your man and your man is constantly learning about you you never fully know a person so don't assume you know your person never assume always ask always inquire always find out always discover the person that you're married to and that's how you keep the relationship new that oh we don't like rugby anymore oh you used to be a bmw person now you're saying mercedes is better oh we're wearing skinny jeans now you're always discovering the person that you are with because we are always growing and becoming better versions of ourselves as we continue to grow so make it your job to continue to discover the man behind the marriage number four is one of my favorites which is to keep a couple vision one of the things that my husband and i really love to do is to have a set five year and ten year goal so that we know what we're working towards but it's not just about having a family vision but it's about the two of you holding each other accountable to the vision that you have built together this vision is the goal that he has for his career and his life alongside the vision you have for your career and your life and how they meet as one family vision reminding each other of where you are working towards will keep you both on your toes meaning that you have to continue to grow you have to continue to become better and you have to continue to work together as a unit to make sure that this all works out for the two of you so having a family vision keeping each other accountable to it will keep you guys on your toes keep you working towards it and make sure that you're always striving to become better number five is the ultimate to appreciate each other every single day appreciate the role that you both play in each other's lives as one person builds their dream the other is supporting it and you're both supporting each other in one way or another to keep a healthy household with children running around or just the two of you in the house together and you're not killing each other that takes a lot of work and you should be really proud of yourselves that you know what there was once upon a time this stranger that i met and somehow we're together working together living together growing together and we are communicating together and we gel we make this thing work there's something that you are both doing to compromise to build each other to sacrifice to make this relationship work so appreciate those things appreciate the way that one person sacrifices for the other appreciate the way that one person supports appreciate how somebody uses their time to make your life better appreciate the love 
that your man is giving you and vice versa. This is how you stay away from complacency by always looking at what can I be grateful for in terms of this relationship that we have. In my gratitude list, what am I grateful for that is that specifically has to do with my partner, what my partner is and what my partner continues to do in our marriage. Always looking for places of appreciation. It will also mean that more will come up. When you are grateful for few, you'll become grateful for many more. All right, beautiful people, thank you for coming to my pajama party. That's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please share this with somebody who you know. You're just like, girl, you need to watch this video because it's going to help you, your man, and your marriage. And give it a big thumbs up and a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kupana Shmang and this is how I do things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it right until the end. Now, if you have not subscribed, click on this button right here, it will help you to subscribe and feel free to binge watch. I do this for you so it's bingeable, fully binge-able. And go to my website www.kapanashimange.com to find out more about my journal, her daily success journal and how you can get your hands on it. Until next time, mm -hmm. toodles! <laughs>